Well, it is the middle of February and I am getting this greenhouse ready for spring. And after a great deal of discussion with my wife and some colleagues and some customers, I have decided to change things up in here a bit. <clears throat> you see, I've got a lot of work to do. This is not how this is gonna look uh, when spring starts, nothing like this at all. Uh, so stay, <laughs> excuse me, stay tuned. Uh, you'll see where we're going with this thing. And uh, Randy from uh, CB's Greenhouse, uh, you kind of inspired me here. Um, yeah, buddy. Your, uh, your words and your, uh, your advice, good words, good advice. And I think it makes a lot of sense. And uh, he doesn't even know what I'm talking about right now, but uh, you will soon. Take care, buddy. Uh, one of the things we have to do every year when you string your tomatoes up like this is to get these um, hooks with the string off. If you don't, and you leave it up there, there's a lot of chance you can get mold, you can get spores, um, you can get bacteria from these onto your nice new tomato plants. So what you gotta do is you gotta pull all these off, as ugly as it is, and uh, I just put a little bucket on my um, ladder here, wind them up, stick them on there and then we'll go put them in some bleach water and let them sit for a little bit uh, that'll clean them up pretty good disinfect them kill any bacteria or mold that might be on them and then uh, let them dry out and they're good to go so that's the first thing we're doing in here stay tuned all right all the tomahooks are down in the trellis string rather is uh it's all down so that's one part of this, I got a lot of cleanup to do because this kind of stuff doesn't belong in a hydroponic greenhouse anymore. This is uh, this kind of mess. It should be nice and neat and clean. And uh, this is not acceptable. It's windy. Yep, it's windy. Alright, this is what I got off of the lines in here, the cables. And those are my clips. Okay. Day one, I got a lot done. It was really windy. It's crazy. This place was a wreck. And uh, anyway, I'll show you what I did. Hold on. All right, looks a little different. What I did was got rid of all of the tomahooks. Got those all cleaned up there and they're bleaching out and, and all the tomato clips they're they're sitting in a bleach solution too I pulled up um, the fabric off the wood on both sides I've dismantled that one and I've dismantled this one I st started to do this one and I just have no energy left so that's where I'm, where I'm going to stop today, and uh, we'll pick up here again, maybe, maybe Sunday, we'll see. Anyway, transformation has begun. Well, tubers is not typically the uh, prime thing to be doing in the middle of February, and but I'm doing it. I am completely gutting this greenhouse of all of this. You remember all the stuff, all the work that we did, Darlene, Daniel, and I last year putting this together. Well, I, I don't count it as a failure. Uh, it just wasn't optimal. You'll see, we're going for optimal. Stay tuned. All right, well, looks a little different now, and it's gonna look a lot different later. All the uh, ground covers out, all the wood frames for those raised beds are out and we're getting ready to uh, uh, do some magic in here but I did want to show you what we just 
did. I got all the ground cover outside. It's uh, getting rained on, so <laughs> that's good because it was muddy, nasty. This greenhouse was a wreck. But anyway, that's where we're at. Okay, we have a clean slate. Been in here tilling it up. Had to open it up down here. It's a lot of work. I don't know, I'm, I'm a mess. <laughs> Nothing to look at anyway, but I'm a little worse today. Anyway, getting there. We're getting there. Okay, folks. I'm at a point now where I'm about to fall out. This is grueling work. And it's uh, kind of tedious because what I'm trying to do here is get this as level as possible. I'm raking it all out. You see my little rake down there. Let's see if I can get to do that. Yeah. And you can see how uneven it is. I'm trying to get it as even as I can going this way. But I want a one and a half foot drop from here to about five foot from the end of that uh, wall over there. Uh, and that's because this is where it's going to drain to. Uh, Gravity is going to take everything that way. And it's, I'm going to have a sump and my reservoir down at that end uh, to feed the system. So I need a good drop that way. And I need it to be as consistent as possible that way without all this stuff. So that the uh, water li the drain lines sit flush to the floor. That's the plan. Anyway, there's been a lot of mud. February was the wettest month in the history of Memphis, Tennessee, and you can see it's it's pretty nasty. Um, the water came in. I mean, look. I don't want to go all the way down, but it's pretty nasty. Anyway, that's a. I'm afraid to move this tractor actually it should be fine but i'm gonna have to move it i've got to get this level right here at this spot and then i'm gonna have to uh, i'm gonna drive the tractor back and forth over this thing to with the tires to flatten it out so i can put the ground cover on well that's where i am i gotta finish this in make sure it's good and level across and um hopefully without cooking it's early morning in early May. I mean, early March. It's 70 in here. I got the side curtains open. So, um, it's, it's kind of warm. We'll have tomatoes in here in no time. Good morning. It's a cold morning here. It's about 37, I think, outside. And uh, I'm sweating because I have been in greenhouse number two this guy working on um, getting this really good and level I'm gonna try and get a, a, a one to one and a half foot drop that's actually I think what I have here is about a one and a almost one and a half foot drop from the front to the rear of this uh, greenhouse gotta get my orientation right here I'm a little tired I've been raking this out smoothing it out and I'll show you what I got here you can see it's pretty pretty well smooth except for right back there and right along there you'll see there's a ridge that's not a ridge that's a shadow um, and it, it was driving me crazy when I was raking this out I thought man that looks wrong but it's it isn't but uh anyway there is a spot down there at the very back that's kind of got a you can kind of see let me see if I can zoom it in yeah, there's a hole back there. That's where the uh, the tiller leaves a mark whenever you leave the building. But that's okay. That's I'm going to be putting a reservoir in back there somewhere, a sump, rather. And I'm going to need a hole. And I'll either put it there or I'll fill that with the dirt I get out of the hole I dig. Anyway, I'm getting ready to level this out with the tractor. Smooth it out, rather, by running over it with the tires and get the... Paper. If you followed me for any time or have gone back in my videos, you'll see here that at Finster Farm, we are accustomed to setbacks. Um, that guy is a result of a setback. 
bad storm took it out took the original one out and I had to replace it with him so a bomb cyclone is what they're calling this winter event here in Memphis Tennessee we had 70 80 90 mile an hour winds um, and that is built to sustain it that guy's not and neither is that one but you'll see that this guy he's okay that one's not I've got to replace this uh, plastic and uh, that's about $350 I didn't really have budgeted for right now I've got so much going on in number two and and uh, completing number one the green uh, the lettuce house I'm building out that other side hopefully to get it all done before spring and that's a lot of money uh, so I don't know what I'm gonna do or when I'm gonna get to them but I got to get him done too because that's where cucumbers squash and peppers are gonna go it's important I have smooth actually packed it down with the uh, tractor tires I smoothed it out a little bit and when you do this you can really see where your low spots are so I'm gonna go back you can see there's a low spot right there there's one over here I'm gonna take some dirt from up here pull it that way kind of smooth that out the rest of it's really good uh, just gonna rake it up and see if there's any other little low spots I think there's one right about there and um, anyway get it the best I can it's got a definite slope that way so we should be good and um, I'll get that ground cover down and we'll go from there floor is down now the real fun begins that was work now it's time for some fun <laughs> 